Well, the LGBT activists, they are not very happy with the country of Hungary, guys, because Hungary is looking to move to define, uh, you know, biological sex uh, by gender, really. Gender is now going to be defined by biological sex, and they don't like this. Uh, at least the LGBT community is not a big fan of this. I got a full breakdown come for you guys. Stick with me first. Do me a big favor if you can. Give this video a like. Let's try to get the likes way up here in this video if we could do that. Share this video across all of your platforms, guys. Help me to beat the YouTube algorithms. It's so big that we do that. They hate me, guys. They hate my guts, okay? Subscribe if you're brand new. And if you enjoy my daily video content, would you guys consider sponsoring my channel here for $5 a month or more? You could do so by visiting patreon.com slash conservative truth. Check the pretty link. It's in the description. It takes you right there. You sign up and you have access to all my podcasts, my bonus content, where I really break down more sensitive information that I can't break down here on YouTube, guys. They would kick me off the platform. They're already demonetized my videos on a daily basis they're not getting you the alerts for when i post the new content guys i mean eventually i'll just be completely gone from here altogether and then i'll only have the patreon that'll be the only way you guys will be able to find me once youtube has finally said enough is enough with the conservative truth and they kick me out but thank you in the meantime for all the support that you guys show me it really makes a, a big difference it really does let's talk about hungary Prime Minister Viktor Orban coming under fire because now they want to change the law. They want to define gender according to biological sex. Now, previously with Hungary, you know, they would let you just, you know, define your gender identity being whatever you want it to be. But now that's no longer the case. Hungary, and here's the thing to know about them. They are a Christian nation, okay? This was a nation that was once, you know, uh, you know, it's heavily persecuted in communism, so on and so forth. And now they've moved out of that direction. You have a, a, a pro-life, you know, leader in charge there. You have a pro-family guy, a pro-Christian leader in Viktor Orban, who is now sitting at the helm, okay? He goes against all the trends, okay? Everybody, you know, globalism, he's all against that. He pushes back against George Soros, okay? And just all this that's trying to get in, into his head here that wants to stir Hungary away from its Christian roots and drag them out of the globalism, push them away from Christianity, get them to accept all the LGBT agenda, and he's not for that whatsoever. Now, this is going forth uh, for a vote on May 5th, on Cinco de Mayo, where the vote's going to be happening, guys, okay? And it is expected to pass, so this will become the law. Now, they're worried that, you know, that violence could potentially come of this because of this new rule that it's that's is harmful towards, you know, the LGBT community. Now, I, I wonder this, though. I mean, is the violence, you know, why would the violence be from anybody, you know, anybody else other than the LGBT community? I mean, if they're the ones that are upset about this, I worry that they might try to do something. Maybe that's where we should look uh, to see where, you know, you know, certain violent acts might, you know, happen from. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, I I don't think, I, I would think in a country like Hungary, you're going to get many people, uh, you know, they're worried about discrimination, this and that. But I mean, hey, you know what? It <laughs> It's hard to dispute what what is natural. It just is, okay? We, we can say that all that we want to. And hey, my video, you know, might get taken down because I'm speaking truth here, but it is what it is. It is the truth that Hungary is doing the right thing by this. Good for them. We need more countries to do the same exact thing. Viktor Orban, he's under a lot, uh, you know, he's under a lot of distress right now for this decision. But, you know, we got to pray for him. The country of Hungary, other countries like Romania too, these are Christian nations that are facing a lot of persecution right now, but they got good leaders that are sitting there right now as the prime ministers are the ones in control and we need to support them. We need to pray for them because God can really use these nations to do something as they're holding on to Christianity as, as long as they can in Europe. And Orban talked about that. He says, we have to hold on to our Christian roots or we are in danger of falling into something we don't want to go into. He's absolutely right. Guys, let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. Do you agree with Hungary now moving to define gender through biological sex or do you disagree? Let me know. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please. Be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.